Yesterday, I got to share some advice with a colleague of mine. And today I'm going to share that same advice with you. Since this is all about community and creating dialogue, I would like to know what you think about my advice, if you agree with it, or if you have an alternative nugget of wisdom to offer. Okay, so here it goes. My colleague works in healthcare facilities management. And by the way, he loves his job. He loves his team. But yesterday he was venting to me about his team not responding to him on a project. He couldn't get his, his team to give him any feedback or input, no matter how many times he kept asking for it. And so he said something to me to the effect of, well, I think my department is just a get by department and they're just doing the bare minimum to get by. Okay, so I know his department. I know a lot of the people that work at this hospital and I know how hard they work and how much they go above and beyond, but it's always in their own specialty. It's not that they're, they're getting by or just doing the bare minimum. They go above and beyond, but it's always in their, in their wheelhouse. So knowing that his department was not a get by department, I prodded him a little bit more and I said, okay, tell me, tell me some more. And he said, well, I've been emailing them and no one will respond to my emails. They can't even reply to me. Okay. Well, maybe go to them in person and specifically ask them for their feedback and explain to them why it's important and what you're doing. No, I've done that. I've done that. I've had a meeting. There it is. <laughs> that was, that was the mistake. That was the mistake in his approach is emails in a meeting does not sum up to engagement. Okay. So I know for me personally, if my colleague or boss had me in a meeting with 10 other people and said, I'm creating a new policy or updating this policy and all of you are stakeholders. So what do you think? My level of engagement would not be as high as if that same person came to me and said, and in person, in my workspace, casually, personally, and said, you know, I'm, I'm working on up, updating this policy. I really want to know what you think. This is why it's important. This is why I specifically want your opinion. Can we talk about it for a few minutes? Wow. I would have felt really special because that person came to me for a specific reason and I would have felt valued and more than likely I would open up and give them all the time in the world to share my opinion. People love to share their opinion. It's all about the approach. So really the issue was that his team didn't have the buy-in yet. They didn't either understand why it was important, why their opinion mattered, or it just felt too stiff. I mean, everyone's busy doing their own work. So to ask them to distract themselves away from that work, it's gonna have to be for a pretty compelling reason. So I told him to go back and have one-on-one -on -one conversations with all the key stakeholders and explain to them why their opinion matters, what specifically he was wanting from them and try to make it as personable as possible. So he hasn't done that yet because it, it's just yesterday, but I'm hoping he does and I wanna know what happens. But I also wanna know what you think. Like I said, I wanna know, did I give him good advice or is there a better way? I personally think that some of the best pitches are really just collaborations because that way you have accountability and ownership in the project because you've given your opinion. So you wanna see it be successful. That's my opinion. What's yours? I wanna hear it. So please leave a comment down below. Thanks y'all.